When you're a small studio or a solo developer, you can get yourself into a niche and really milk it for all it's worth in all of the best ways possible. And that's how I feel about Maché Targoni. Maché is a solo developer who creates minimalistic puzzle games that absolutely leap off the page. And whilst you could kind of be forgiven to think, oh, these could be on mobile and free to play, blah, 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 blah. They're always superbly crafted and I'm more than happy to support a developer that puts out these type of games on PC. They look great on a big screen and they work with a PC like mouse and controller as well. Maché's latest game is called Hook 2. I was a big fan of Hook 1 and Hook 2 takes everything that Hook 1 did and then puts it from a 2D plane into a surprising 3D plane. The way how the Hook games work are that you have these circular... Um, retractable hooks that you need to press in a sequenced order so that you can deconstruct a mangled twisted mess of hooks. What you don't want to do is pull the wrong hook that then catches on something else thus breaking the puzzle. And so what you're doing is at the beginning kind of looking from a top-down perspective of how all of the hooks are laid out so that you can pull the one that's going to unleash the next one and try and deconstruct it that way. But at around the one-fifth mark, Hook 2 moves itself from a 2D plane to a 3D one. And what that means is that you have to rotate round Rubik's cubes of spaghetti junctions to try and work out what's going where and how to pull things apart. Not content there, Maché then starts to add in other things around turning on and off circuits, making Hook 2 feel more like an electrical current style of game. And then also starting to match up uh, different symbols to turning on and off different hooks. So what you'll be doing is connecting up the lines and rotating around specific edges so that you can connect up circuits. And then those circuits might start on one symbol and then pop up somewhere else. So it's no longer about following around specific lines. You've now got to work out exactly what goes where. This adds up uh, a decent amount of difficulty, but it's never too ridiculous and it's never too convoluted. It's always very solvable through very simple logic. And so you just need to have a keen eye and get things into the right place so that you can then view what you need to view and then start pulling things apart. In Hook 2, there are 88 puzzles, I believe. It might be 86. But the whole game is completable within about two hours max. But during those two hours, you are constantly shown different ways how this game will take those basic, very simple to understand game mechanics and twist them around literally on your screen quite often to continually surprise you with some interesting puzzles. I love this style of game. I think it's one of the best that's out there at the moment and Hook 2 is an absolute step forward on what Hook 1 did by bringing it from a 2D to a 3D plane. Two thumbs up from me. Do support these solo developers that make genuinely interesting bespoke puzzle games. These aren't your general like draw the line stuff that you get on mobile that are very far away. These puzzles are well thought out, well designed and they deserve support. So our written review will be over on highplanegames.com. Big thumbs up from me. And what I did do after I bought this game was I ended up buying the All of My Games bundle, which brings together six of Maché's games. And I'll be slowly going through them in turn because there was a couple that I didn't own to give them reviews on the channel across the rest of 2022. Take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.